Good morning, everybody. It's Thursday of our prayer week. Uh, great to see you. Uh, just before we start, I forgot to press start on my teleprompter. I better start now. There we go. Seamless. You didn't even notice. Uh, <laughs> hope you're having a good week. I'm still getting used to this tech stuff. Uh, but it's really good to be able to share with you again today. Uh, please do keep coming down at 10 o'clock uh, to share with us in prayer. And of course, Connect with us on Facebook, on the YouTube uh, community group, uh, just to see what God is doing in your life. Question for you as we head into our thought today. Who is the most famous person you have ever met? I once had, here's my claim to fame, uh, my picture taken with Graham Kelly. Yeah, I know, so you know no one knows who he is. It was at Euro 96 in 1996. The clues in the title, and he is—he was the head of the football association, and uh, me and my mate uh, just so happened to be walking around the back of Villa Park because we'd gone to one of the matches and saw him. Whoosh, got in there, thought I'm having a self, I'm having a selfie as it was then, but someone else was taking a picture, so it was just a photograph uh, of him. Okay, so it's not much of a claim to fame, as I said. He isn't the most famous person. He has no bearing on my life. Uh, you know. It, no offence to Graham Kelly, but you're not going to be that impressed. In fact, I know you're not in that impressed. Today, we're thinking not about who, how you can show off about the most famous person story you have, but consider the transformation that takes place when we, God, when we people of this world, encounter Jesus. And our passage comes today from Luke 19, verse 1 through to 10. So let's go into that. Jesus entered Jerusalem and was passing through. A man was there by the name of Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector and was very wealthy. He wanted to see who Jesus was, but because he was short, he could not see over the crowd. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore fig tree to see him. Since Jesus was coming that way, when Jesus reached the spot, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, calm down immediately. I must stay at your house today. So he came down and at once and welcomed him gladly. All the people saw this and began to mutter, he has gone to be the guest of a sinner. But Zacchaeus stood up and said to the Lord, look, Lord, here and now I give half of my possessions to the poor. And if I have cheated anyone, anybody out of anything, I will pay back four times the amount. Jesus said to him, today salvation has come to this house because this man too is a son of Abraham for the son of man came to seek and save the lost. This is such a great example of a divine encounter, a story of where Jesus meets with someone who isn't living a life of joy or generosity, but is basically scamming people. I love this story, not because he's scamming people, of course, but it's so affirming and inspiring that when people meet with Jesus, something profound happens. Do you know this? Do you see this in the world around you, in the people around you? Have you experienced it in your own life in the past and I pray in the present? Do you see people who have responded when they meet with Jesus? Because when people do meet with Jesus, they are transformed. They have a divine encounter and something miraculous happens. Now, Zacchaeus wasn't a popular member of the community. He was an outcast. He was outcast as a leper, I would say. Verse 7 says that all the people saw this and began to mutter. You know those people in our world who just only ever want to moan about certain other people, etc., etc. They don't have an encouraging word. They don't want to just be associated with him. They just label him as a troublemaker and bad. But Jesus doesn't meet him with that. He doesn't even speak to him. Just his presence, his encounter with Jesus, Zacchaeus is transformed. It goes on into the home and he shares food with him. The story says that's what Jesus was intending to do. And because of that, Without a word, Zacchaeus is transformed into someone who does act with joy and does act with generosity. 
two things I want us to think about this morning. The first thing is this, that we need to be ready to encounter Jesus anytime, any place, even up a tree. The second thing is this, that, that an encounter with Jesus has the power to transform us. It has the power to transform anyone. And so where will you encounter Jesus today? How will you let him transform your life? just by being with him and him being with you? Will he transform the situations that you find yourself in just as he did with Zacchaeus? And maybe there's people in your workplace, your family, your community, in the world that you know of that need a divine encounter with a transforming Jesus. Maybe you want to pray for those two this morning. So let us pray together. Father God, we thank you. Thank you for your divine transformation, your divine presence with us in this world. We thank you that when we meet with you, we are meeting with a holy God, but a God who knows us personally as a friend. And so we just give you the praise for that. And we ask that for those people in our world that need to encounter you, that they will do so, do so today through us and in us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Have a good day, everybody, and look forward to sharing with you tomorrow.